Well, little Hassan has just stood up and he's noticed some impalas on the southern side of the road and he's being a little bit naughty and like his grandmother in that he's using the car to try and hide from the impalas now. So he's crept up right towards us and he's sitting, I would say, no more than maybe half a meter from the front left tire and watching the impalas from there. So there you go, there's the car and he's just sitting right next to us and it is really quite something to have a leopard as close as this to us. Now I can't even see him, that's how close he is. I can't see him over the side of the door. I can only just see what Craig is showing me. That's where he's sitting and he's watching the impalas that are just south of us and hopefully because of the time of the day those impalas are hopefully going to start pushing up towards Twin Dams to have a little drink and if they do well then Hosanna is in the perfect place to be able to go after this prey item because he's going to have this little dam wall that we've got here that he can slink into and he can use that for a bit of cover so he's in a prime position and hopefully the impalas will move towards where he is now of course we hope that the parlors obviously don't get eaten but we want little Hosanna to get something to eat too so Lee Warhorse I think it was Megs I think I got that right you're asking how far leopards can jump well it Lee Warhorse I did get it right there we go so leopards can jump pretty high and they will be able to move a lot further than what you would imagine they can go quite high I've seen a leopard jumping probably I would say must have been about at least 12 feet maybe more into the air so they'll be able to jump very high indeed I know caracals can go almost 18 feet and a leopard not too far behind them so they're somewhere around there as well which is an incredible leap so from here if impalas came over the top it would be able to jump and grab them as they got onto the top there so it would be quite something to be able to see that and I've always wanted to see a leopard doing that and a leopard jumping and catching a prey animal in midair so it would be really cool if one of these impalas did decide to come north. They are actually slowly moving in the northerly direction. The problem is, is that there are quite a number of cars around and that would generally mean that we're going to probably see these impalas moving away slightly. But that's where they all are. They're just on the right hand side there. You can see them sort of moving about and they're slowly but surely kind of coming northwards along the fringes of that Mulawati. And like I say, they often do cross here and then they come up and then they drink down at the pans itself. So where we are is in prime position and well, Hassan is in prime position too. Problem is, is that we can't move at all. I don't even want to take my foot off the brake because if we do, he's going to get a little bit of a fright and we don't want to give our boy a fright and we'll let him do his thing. I ultimately wasn't planning on him coming out here. He was actually quite far in front of us. He was closer towards the waterhole side of things and probably I'd say about 10 meters from the front of the car and then as he saw us he sneaked quickly to the tire and he's very clever that he's worked out already that this is a way of being able to do things so there we go now he's going back down the hill to use that part as a way to be able to camouflage so that's why he's doing that is he's using the damn wall to be able to move around unfortunately for him he's got no other chance to get where he needs to go without having to go out in the open so he needs to be patient here and just spend his time right there and hope that the impalas don't see him now unfortunately it's just becoming a bit of a mess in terms of vehicles though oh, we're going to have a little drink when you can't get close to the impalas it's time to have a drink first before you start prepping for the evening of hunting but he seems to be drinking with some vigor are you thirsty Osana? he is such a beautiful cat though look at those markings in amongst the green and i must be honest that's why i do miss the summer months sometimes just that contrast of some of our cats in that bright lush vegetation is absolutely beautiful so hopefully we'll see these things coming back again this summer when the rains start to come back but it is beautiful when you see that contrast in coloration i wonder where he's going to go from here Parlors will need to start coming closer and they seem as though they know what's going on because the impalas are just sitting on the southern side of the road and Hassan is going to have to do a lot of work to get anywhere near those impalas. And that's not to say that he won't try. You can see he's going to try and use vehicles to his advantage. So he's going to try and creep and see if he can't get into a position where the impalas don't see him. So he's just using this car in front of us to go round. Let's see how he goes. I'm just trying to get round a little bit here quickly. 
There he goes. Look at him belly crawling. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's what leopard crawl is all about. Now I might just sneak in a legal photo quickly because, well, that is about as cool as it gets. So I do apologize if you heard a little click there, but that is so cool. Little Hosanna, you are being an absolute champion this morning. I mean, this afternoon. Look at how he's watching. See how he's trying to watch those impalas and but not be able to make too much of a noise or make himself too obvious. So he spends his time low down to the ground, but just enough that he can see what they're doing. This is so cool. Isn't he beautiful in that light as well? Now hopefully he's going to continue his little leopard crawl that we saw just now. Because that will be very cool if he does. Now he's just sitting watching. And watch his tail. Watch how his tail is going to twitch and move as he watches these impalas. The impalas are moving off, which is not ideal for us because they're going southwards, which means that in all likelihood he's going to cross south with them. But, well, at the moment it's still just absolutely beautiful to watch him sitting and watching these impalas go. You can see them, they're just drifting off down that way and heading. And now he's going, look, look, Craig, there we go. Look at the way that he's crawling. See how he's using the bushes to try and get into a position where that he can walk normally. See, now that he's got behind a thicket, back to walking fairly normal. So he's doing a lot of maneuvering. And isn't this amazing from a young leopard to already be in a situation where he's able to work out that this is how he needs to move to be able to keep up and to not get spotted it's absolutely astounding that an animal of his age is able to work this out already so we're going to try and see if we can't just park somewhere here and he should come out look there he comes look at that isn't that beautiful in that white grass and he's just poking his head up over the grass at the moment So he's still just watching these impalas, but let's see how he goes. Isn't that cool? I love watching it. When they get low down and they start to creep on their belly and they move towards things, it is the best thing, and especially when you get a big open section. And he did so well because these impalas haven't seen him at all. There's been no alarm call of the impalas. They're not even aware that he's here. So he's done a fantastic job to get to where he is. And now from here, at least he's got a bit of grass cover that he can utilize. And he's trying to use all these small trees to be able to then get as close to these impalas as possible. The problem for him is that the impalas are actually moving away from him a little bit. So he needs to get to a point where he can try and get in front and then just sit tight and wait for the impalas to come right in his direction. So he's definitely going to try his luck and whether or not the impalas spot him is going to be anyone's guess at this stage. I haven't seen anything yet and I'm just trying to see where they're all going to. It seems to be just milling around. So Izzy, you say he's so majestic and that you love him more and more every time you see him. Well he is, he's a beautiful leopard and he's one that is grown and, and made its way into the hearts of many here in the Sabi sand. So he's an incredible cat and the fact that he's done so well with his his life in, in terms of being able to go off from Karula and, and still be able to survive as well as he's done has been an absolute amazing thing to watch. So, you know, he wouldn't have been prepared very much for his mom disappearing and him having to go on his own, but yet he's been able to adapt so well and he's gotten into a situation where he's been so successful I and mean, we know that he's at this stage been able to make a few kills and the instinct of hunting is already there so he's already worked out how to hunt where to go to hunt how to move to get closer and every time he fails is going to be a learning curve for him and he's done incredibly well to get as far as he has already so hopefully he'll be around for a long time to come at the end of the day he's still quite 
young and quite small, which means that Tingana won't be too threatened by him just yet. And as long as he's not vocalizing or scent marking, he's not going to attract too much attention to himself and he'll be all right. As soon as he starts doing that, though, I think unfortunately he's going to get pushed out and have to go into another area. But let's see where he goes from here. But he's just watching patiently. The impalas themselves are just moving off slightly. They're not too stressed about what's going on at this stage. They're just kind of taking it very easy. Definitely they haven't seen him, so hopefully he'll be able to move now. now what he's doing is he's waiting for the impalas to just move further south and then from there he can kind of catch up and move along and cross this main road because once he goes over the main road it's going to be very difficult for him he's going to be unfortunately hidden and well he's going to be out in the open sorry and the impalas are going to be able to spot him so rather than going while they're still very close let them drift more towards the thickets and then he can cross over the open area and use the thickets for himself but i'm sure he's going to go in the next little bit. I don't think he's going to sit for too much longer now that the impalas are moving off a little bit. I'm pretty sure he's going to do the same. But let's see how he goes. He's already impressed me just from his little leopard crawl that he did. Big red, so you say so. Hassan is already using the cars for cover. He is indeed, so he's already worked out that a car is a perfect thing to be able to hide him. And it's not probably because he knows that the cars make a noise and stuff just yet, he will work that out. But it's more that it's a big, dense object, and so behind it, he knows he can't see behind the car itself. So if he uses it for his advantage, it means that the impalas won't be able to see him if he can't see them. So that's why he's using it, and he's amazing that already at such a young age. He's been able to work that out. And little Shongile, I'm sure, is not far behind. I'm sure she would be able to also work that out quite quickly. And I look forward to hopefully seeing her around a little bit more and, and seeing her in her hunting and how she's developed as a huntress over the last little bit. Because obviously, you know, she was a little bit smaller than Hosanna and she's battled to go after big animals. But we have seen her trying to hunt and I wonder if her technique has become as refined as what Hosanna's is already. It's going to be, like I say, interesting to see when he does move. The impalas are still quite close. There we go. I wonder if this is it. There we go. So he is going to start going. And look at how he disappears in the grass. So you were asking me earlier about his color and whether or not he would blend in, even as a lighter leopard. Well, that shows you right there just how well he can blend in. Now, those geese making the noise are not good for him because the impalas will stop and listen. But there we go. He's going to cross southwards and into another property unfortunately which is not ideal for us so i'm going to try and just go forward and see if i can't just keep up a view of him so we're just going to try and see if we can't dip down he's just crossed over the road now so i'm just going to try and get in front quickly goes he's just slinking off into the grass you see the grass is very long so he's just slinking and he's perfectly used this to his advantage and there's lots of bushes in front that he can use as well and you'll find he's going to probably sit for a little bit now just watch just to see where they are what they're doing which way they're going to go and then from there he'll then reposition once again but that thicket that he's in now is the perfect place for a leopard to have camouflage and to have some cover so let's see how he goes from here Seems as though he's just working out what's happening. Now, obviously, we can see those big white markings of his ears. For the impalas on the other side, he's going to be so well hidden because his face doesn't have any of those big, bright white markings. Don't turn your head to face us, otherwise you're going to have a problem, my boy. There we go. Still slinking. And see, look at that. Look at those spots blending in. Isn't that amazing? Hopefully, he's going to be able to get himself close enough at this stage. It looks as though I don't think that he will. But let's see. 
it's so open though where the impalas are the impalas have moved a little bit further south so it's going to be tough for him to get there ladybugs and daisies you're saying it's so great to see how well his hunting skills have developed it is incredible isn't it that he's already gotten to this point where he knows what he's doing and he's able to blend as well as he is now absolutely astounds me that he can get as low as that and just disappear you can see he's just disappeared completely into the grass now so we can't see him at all anymore he's just moved south so i'm going to try and reverse backwards a little bit try and see if we can't get some sort of a view of him but i don't think so i think unfortunately at this stage he's probably going to go in as to the densest thicket as possible and probably try and disappear and hope that the impalas can't see him but we'll try to see if we can't find him again and while we do that let's go back to byron and his playful elephants